Hey guys, Ben here. It's Whip Wednesday. What I painted Wednesday, or work in progress Wednesday, depending if you are Tiff or everybody else who's in Geekland. Uh, so every week we look at what everybody's been working on. So I'll go through what I've been painting, and then we're going to have a look at what you've sent us in. So let us know what you're working on because we'd love to show it off. Okay, so let's start with what I've been working on. So first up, we've got the referees from the Blood Bowl 2020 box. Now, I haven't had a chance to put paint on these guys, just got them primed up um, went with my classic brown primer and the classic sand on the base. But these are such cool minis. Now, there's, there's, there's bulky detail on them. So I'm not worried about painting these guys. I don't think it's going to take very long at all. So I think they're going to paint up really good. I really like this guy and I wanted to use him as a coach for my dwarf team. Um, but with the whistle, I don't know, just seemed a bit disingenuous. It didn't, didn't make sense to me. And then we've got the, uh, the elf guy as well. And these minis are packed full of character. I know that there's like literally no use for them in the game i mean you can use it to represent um one of the inducements but they are such cool minis and then we've got griff so this model was a pain to build because of the head um, whether the instructions were wrong or whether i just read them wrong um i had to cut his head his helmet apart and glue his face in first um anyway yeah you guys will find out more about that when you get the box but yes um, had a bit of difficulty with that. So again, just prime, just primed in brown for now. Um, haven't, haven't, I, have, you guys, you're going to help me out. What kind of paint scheme do I go for with Griff? Because it is a fantastic miniature, but uh, I, and I want to do him justice. So I'm going to use it as a bit of a painting project as well. I'm going to try some, some really nice highlighting, but this is such a cool mini. And then we've got Varag, and this is an absolute beast. Um, he wasn't too hard to build, except for these tusks. Now, this chin bit and the two tusks is actually three individual pieces that glue on separately so they don't glue together and then you mount it it's 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 literally each piece goes on and you just have to hope it's kind of in the right place otherwise the model was an absolute joy to build and he is absolutely massive so as we've got him now let's put him next to griff so you can kind of see the scale between the two of them and you can see just how massive Varag is now this is the difference between strength 4 and strength 5 apparently according to games workshop but this guy is an absolute beast and uh yeah i mean this is going to be great fun to play as well now the likelihood is that i will never use him as Varag, uh, not unless we do come some kind of uh, star sevens or something because because 280k is just so much for a black orc team or, or an orc team um and he doesn't have the agility to kind of make up for stuff uh, but I'm very well may use him as my troll because um, I think he does fit with the Black Orc team brilliantly. And while I was priming these guys brown, I kind of had a look at the miniature pile and uh, had a look to see what else I had to paint up. And I've got some ships here that uh, Bloodside Ben printed for me from a Kickstarter. Uh, no idea what to do with them. I kind of like the brown effect. I might paint them a bit orange as well. Um, so four different ship designs. I just thought it'd be cool to get some paint on these and get them going. It's nice to change things up a little bit. And talking of changing things up a bit, I got some paint on my six mil guys. Um, these knights are very much work in progress. That is the aim of the show, though. But with a little cheeky dry brush, they, they need a, a bit of an inking. Um, but uh, you can see the details coming out. I did mostly finish this regiment of infantry here. Um, but the base is still needing to be finished. But I'm really happy with the effect overall. Um, just a little bit of spot painting and it comes out really well. The overall unit effect is achieved. And, and thank you to my lazy boy painting mechanic where it's all just brown and ink. Um, actually, it was an absolute doddle to paint. I painted these up while Tiff was watching some stories. In fact, she was uh, watching reruns of Dawson's Creek, which is her new hobby, is to go back and look at old, <laughs> old 90s TV. So uh, the painted up some infantry. I've got some uh, archers now that I have done the same thing with, which is spray brown and then ink and pick out the details and they're done. And inspired by Graham Pickett painting his Fanath and Ben talking about Old World Alliance, um, I took the opportunity to prime my Fanath Dwarf team. So these minis are just some of the most fun miniatures uh, I have had in my hands for a very long time. So I am painting these green and blue and uh, the kind of angle I'm going to take is I want to have a dwarf team slash OWA team. So I'm going to be building an old world alliance team. So I'm going to be using the death roller here 
as my ogre and when my nobility team arrives going to be painting them in exactly the same way so i can kind of mix and match my nobility with um these guys who i think just smack of old school warhammer um, i think it's the big heads they've just got a lot of charm so this is the fanath dwarf team i just took the opportunity now they're going to be using these bases which are the shattered realm or shattered dominion or something um and i've got a sprue here of them so what's that 16 but 15 16 bases and i'm going to be basing them up on this gonna do like a dungeon theme um I, just something different i know it does not going to fit on the pitch brilliantly but i think it will make the dwarf team look really really fun um, first up we've got Zephyr Baby again. So hey guys, uh, here are my entries for Whip Wednesday. It seems to be a purple weekend. I'm assuming that's down to uh, Ben and his nobility. Uh, kicking off, I have a mummy from a shambling undead. Got his flesh and bandages done. Then I've got my Prowler Knight that has a deep purple wash with contrast paint and a thin layer of leech hexen. It's a slight throwback to the Slanesh Epic Knights fantastic uh right let's have a quick look at that so we can see the mummy up here so zephyr is working on his undead team then oh okay i get it like a throwback to the old slanesh knights from epic so zeph makes some insane knights with some lovely conversions great to see some work there and when we've got his mortarian so then to finish it mortarian has a work done to him uh, gone with the bronzed flesh looking suit of armor it's a wash of contrast paint uh, of a yandin yellow thick layer of Zamisi Desert toned with bronze flesh, then highlighted with a white and Zamisi Desert. Uh, the cloak is leech hexed, but we'll be getting a contrast paint wash. All in messy stages, none of the detail has been done. Thanks, Zephyr Baby. So, Zeph does some incredible work. Let's see if we can get some of the details. So, you can see there the stages of um, painting in the shadow and painting the highlights that's just an incredible amount of work to be fair it's a very lovely model so if you're going to spend a lot of time painting a miniature this is definitely one of the ones you should be spending time on and there we've got work even more um just look at the level of detail and effort he's gone to that's amazing zephyr Next up, we've got some stuff from Car Wolves here. Hello there. Woody's finished for next month's tournament at Forest Spirits. Necromantic team in progress. See the pictures in the PDF in full screen for better effect attached. So let's have a look at the teams first. So this will be the Wood Elf team. And I think, what's that? Woody Miniatures? I love this tree, man. It's really, really solid. This is a lovely looking team. Really great work on all the bases. So got a third party team, but went with the actual Games Workshop tokens. That's uh, that's class. That is that is absolutely class. But this, <laughs> this is really interesting. So this is the forest spirits team. So it looks like we've got two weasels. Uh, you've got two wolves there. This looks like 3D printed stuff. Um, two bears, two spiders. So I'm assuming the wolves are wolves. I'm assuming the bears are golems. And the spiders are probably ghouls then with these guys being the zombies. Um, these spiders are really cool actually. Always in the market for some spiders for Blood Bowl, but this here is really cool. He's put together a little bit of commentary from Bob and Jim. Welcome, sports fans. The Lauren Forest Cup is reaching its end, and excitement is at fever pitch. I'm Jim Johnson. I'm Bim, Bof uh, Bim Bofford. All right, we'll take it. And we're here to tell you about the two teams that made it to the grand final. Well, Jim's here to talk about that. I'm just here for the paycheck. Uh, you know which team is qualified, Ben. I know there are some elves, so let's... Ben, Bob, let's just skip straight down to this bit, which I thought was really, really cool. So bit, a little bit of a team profile. So this is the Roll Squadron, Wood Elf, Motto, It's Not Wise to Upset a Woody. Uh, famous players, Luck, Skywalker, Boba Shaw Fett, and Han Yolo. Love it. Can't be a fan of Blood Bowl without appreciation of punny team names. This is the wicked thing. Uh, the Deathly Fellows. So Forest Spirits, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. See a theme here. Famous players... Harry Potter, Sirius Block, Luna Loveblood. Fantastic. Now we've got some Skaven here from Timo Budzinski. Hi Ben, last time we showed a picture of the Skaven team I'm working on. Here's a small update on a few minis. Still much to do, but if you want, you can use it for the next video. The Rat Ogre and Pestilence Rat, formerly playable as, as Creek Rust Gouger, are from Star Player Miniatures. So we've gone with a dark paint scheme here for Skaven, which I really like the effects, actually. Blackfurred Skaven is something I might have to look into for my Underworld team, actually. And I think it'll pop with the orange armor, so really nice work there this is a very cool miniature so this will be the rat ogre and this must be from star player miniatures straight up great work on the edges of the metal there i love the green glow too really fantastic look and this is a terrifying model 
<laughs> but definitely works as Creek Rust Gouger. That's cool. I, you know me, you guys. Love a bit of Skaven. Okay, now we are looking at some orcs from Horny Morny. Hey Ben, didn't have much time during my vacation last week, but I like the little bit of progress I got done. Uh, only two weeks left to finish my orcs so they can hit the pitch as soon as the new box set is out. Kind regards, Manuel. Yes, just realised I missed the uh, mold line on the troll's foot. So, going with classic orcs here. Glad to see that we've still got some old school green skin players. Uh, cool, I'm liking the colour scheme here. That's a very solid orange. I'm painting trying to paint orange for my underworld team and it is uh it's not fun and i really like this so it's a very blue scheme for the troll and i've i've not seen a troll done in that kind of blue you kind of got the gray blue for, for the cave trolls of old but this really works there <laughs> there's the the mold line i'm not too fussed about mold lines i'm not that pro i want it to look good on the pitch from 18 to 24 inches away and uh, so mold lines don't offend me as much as it offends the pros um love the highlighting on the scales that must have been some work <laughs> got some cool goblins here as well so this is the goblin for the hand this is looking really good and we've got our weekly update from Graham Pickett. Uh, so mixed bag here. My hatred of bare plastic has seen me painted the orcs from the BB 2016 box. Got a painted a spare dwarf coin, a tiny amount of painting on the Bugman coach, but it did apply 56 individual rune decals on Bugman's base. Look at that. I did wonder. That is some serious <laughs> attention to detail and effort there, Graham. Now, I know Graham's been working on some of the Fanath Dwarf stuff as well, but I couldn't get it to open, so sorry, Graham. We'll have to, we'll have to sort that out ready for next week. Oh, love Bugman. That's great work there. Like the basing. Love the coin. And Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. So, Black Orcs have been replaced. They're now called Big Uns. And great to see these miniatures getting to the pitch where they belong. And we've got Stephen Knowles here. Hi, guys. Uh, finished building these three. Corvus, Black Star, and two Ulf were ladies from Succubus Studios. Uh, to finish all the models I need to build, the second photo is my now to paint pile. I'm sharing this as by the snotlings. I promised my fiance in June that I wouldn't buy any new bottles until my pile was empty. That is a bold statement there, Stephen. He says he's halfway there and uh, everything is undercoated except the knights. So let's have a quick look at this. This is a cool flyer and we've got some sun Cubus miniatures there, tucked away. Love a bit of Blood Bowl. Ah, look at that pile. That is respect. Um, I, how are you going to paint all that? The pile is best in individual boxes, so you can't see the pile anymore. We've got Snotlings down there. You've got some Space Marines. You've got some Grey Knights from the looks of it. Oh, no. Uh, Adeptus Custodes. You've got some of the Eel guys from AOS. Dark Eldar. <laughs> and that looks like a knight in the background so <laughs> a great little mix of stuff there from steven and he did get it all primed in the end so well done you got some work to do and now we've got some cool stuff here from orkster uh hey ben just finalizing the death roll of my dwarves got a couple of stars to go then the team is complete working on my corpse grinder gang for necromunda 2 looking forward to the new blood bowl box set now it's been uh, on pre-order so this is one of the corpse grinders that is a retro paint scheme. I absolutely love that. I love the individual bases as well. Um, I'm going to be using some of the oh. 3D sculpted bases for some of my Blood Bowl teams. Um, these, I think, would work all right for dungeons as well. So, uh, <laughs> wow. So this will be the Death Roller then. That's a beast. Uh, I'm not sure which team. I've seen this before, but I'm not sure where it's from. Look at that. Let's see if we can't zoom in ever so slightly and look at the detail on this miniature man that's going to be an absolute beast to finish off um that's a very cool model though. i love that you managed to fit it on a 32 got the team as well i do remember this team it came out as part of a fantasy army as well because they got kind of leonine faces brilliant tokens and a really cool team there thanks very much for sharing orkster and then last but not least, we've got a couple of bits that you've probably already seen on the channel. So Ben spent a ridiculous amount of time painting this team. Did a 24-hour stream on Saturday. Uh, if you follow us on YouTube, you can actually go back and watch some of it. If you want to just hang out and listen to Ben talk with chat uh, while he does that, go for it. Um, I think he's going to be doing some more again soon. And hopefully so will I when the new box set gets here. Going to be getting my Necro on the go. But anyway, Ben has painted up, or at least made a huge amount of progress painting up the Nobility team. Gone with a black and purple and gold scheme looks really good uh he's not quite happy with it yet and apparently edging all the gold is a lot of work which is hilarious because he's, he's a corn player um in age of sigma so gold edging is kind of like his jam and then we've got ian warhanam hanam has painted up one of the black orcs he's got the whole team to go but it is looking really fantastic um 
and I cannot wait to get my hands and my paints on this team. I mean, I've got the star players to paint up and they are coming along very nicely. They're great fun, but the teams are so wicked. Um, we're going to wrap up um, Whip Wednesday now, guys. Thanks ever so much. Sorry we couldn't share everybody's work, but we'll be back next Wednesday. So if you're working on something and you feel like sharing it with us, please drop us an email to the Bonehead Podcast at gmail.com. It's the easiest way for me to get the stuff onto the stream. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And we'll be back next Wednesday. And good luck with your hobby projects. Take care. Mm -hmm.